Welcome to 5 Minute School. In today's video, we're going to be talking about type 1 diabetes, also known as type 1 diabetes mellitus. So, this disease is associated with the complete deficiency of insulin, and that's basically due to an autoimmune attack on the beta cells of the pancreas. The islets of Langerhans, which are where the beta cells are, are going to become infiltrated with activated T lymphocytes and this is going to cause insulitis. Eventually we will have complete beta cell destruction so therefore insulin won't be being produced. Now the reason we have this beta cell destruction is both from a stimulus from the environment like a viral infection and also a genetic determinant that allows beta cells to be recognized as foreign by the human body so the body will cause an autoimmune attack on the beta cells. I've included the image on the right, and this shows you the main symptoms of diabetes. The ones which you can see in blue are more specific for type 1 diabetes. So those are lethargy, stupor, weight loss, hyperventilation, a smell of acetone, nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. So uh, the metabolic changes which are associated with a deficiency of insulin, since insulin is such an important hormone, the lack of insulin within the human body will obviously cause some effects on metabolism and the main organs or tissues those are responsible in are the liver, muscles and adipose tissue. So we have hyperglycemia and ketoacidosis and these are the main signs of untreated type 1 diabetes because we have elevated blood glucose and ketone production. So. Um, Hyperglycemia is caused by an increase in, well, the increased liver production of glucose, and that's combined with a diminished blood glucose utilization. So since a lot of the um, tissues, like the muscle and adipose tissue, have channels which require insulin to, to basically work, these are GLUT4 channels, you're going to have a lot of glucose in the blood which is remaining there because insulin isn't present to bind onto these channels. So there's no uptake of glucose into these tissues. So it just basically remains in the blood. That's why we call it hyperglycemia. We also have ketoacidosis because uh, we have increased mobilization of fatty acids from the adipose tissue because obviously the cells are starving, they're not getting their glucose. So we have increased mobilization of these fatty acids from adipose tissue. And we have increased liver fatty acid beta oxidation and synthesis of three hydroxybutyrate and acetoacetate. And these two are both ketones. So we have ketogenesis here. So uh, we have hypertriacylglycerolemia also occurring because not all the fatty acids going to the liver are going to undergo beta oxidation and ketone synthesis so some of them are converted into triacylglycerol and they're going to be packed into very low density uh, lipoproteins.